the show like we always do with a look at what is happening in Northwest Arkansas. Now, for the second year in a row, JJ's Live in Fayetteville is hosting a holiday pop-up bar in the Uptown yes. District. I love all these holiday bars. Yes. They are so fun. So now, into December 23rd, you can enjoy Christmas lights, wrapping paper walls, a life-size inflatable Santa. Wow. And even a naughty or nice list. Don't worry, Jason. I'm kind of naughty list. <laughs> Thank you. Thank the pop -up you. <laughs> Deserve it. The pop-up bar is open Monday through Thursday from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. And then on the weekends on Friday and Saturday from 6 p.m. until midnight. Um, you can check out JJ's social media page for all the details, including like just different hours and kind of how they're operating, as well as holiday cocktails. I got a peek at a couple of them, yeah. so they look really fun. I like, I like pre-deciding on the menu before I get there. Yeah. That's a great way to get started. <laughs> This is another thing you can do right here in Northwest Arkansas, exciting the city of Siloam Springs, gearing up for the holidays with yes. its annual Light Up Siloam Springs Christmas Parade. So this is taking place on Saturday, December 2nd, starting at 4 p.m. Siloam Springs High School Choirs will take the stage in Memorial Park for some caroling. And then at 5.30, the parade begins. It all leads up to the big moment at 6 when the downtown lights will be turned on. There's going to be food trucks on site as well as a sensory portion to allow an quieter experience without sirens, bright lights, and music. So this will be a fun time. Head out there to Salem Springs, another Christmas parade. I love it. Here's a reminder that Walton Arts Center is offering the gift that keeps on giving. If you've been eyeing some shows here to the stage, then listen up. This is for you. You've got until today, Monday, November 27th at 11.59 p.m. to get tickets at a discounted price between 25 and 35 percent off for select shows. Those shows include Lori Morgan's Enchanted Christmas, Tina, the Tina Turner musical, An Intimate Evening with David Foster and Catherine McPhee, American Girl Live and Concert, Jack little pill and more tickets do make great gifts so make sure you take advantage of this deal that is ending today again at 11:59. yeah get them while you can and this weekend warm up in downtown springdale at the annual this is exciting the annual coco crawl is coming to downtown springdale the sold out event will feature th 300 i'm making sure i'm reading that right 300 of gallons of hot cocoa from more than 20 stops Crawlers will make on Friday, December the 1st. If you missed the chance to get your ticket, but you still want to be a part of the fun, we'll consider being a helpful elf and volunteer for the event. So that's the way that you can get in. You can sign up online. They have uh, volunteer slots available for you right now. Yes, we know the hot cocoa crawl did sell out uh, very quickly. Um, so again, as Jason said, if you're like, man, I miss getting my ticket, but I kind of want to be out there and, and maybe even samples of some hot cocoa, yeah. then uh, consider volunteering. All right, well, better watch out. SantaCon is coming to town this weekend, the annual holiday celebration that is back for another year, raising money for sharing and caring of Benton County. Tickets for the event, those are $10. You can dress up as Santa or your favorite holiday character and head to participating businesses in Rogers and Bentonville on Saturday, December 2nd from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. And then after you've had all that fun, Head to Crystal Bridges for the after party. That's going to be at 7 p.m., which is a great way to meet everybody else that participated um, in the event. So if you decide to do SantaCon and you're all dressed up, send us a picture. We'd love to share that on Good Day NWA. You know we would. That's